Hey, this is a screencast series called Vim on Alphabet. My name is Josh Branshaw, and this is episode 7. In this episode, we'll be looking at the pound symbol, which is also sometimes called the hash symbol. The first use for the pound symbol is for searching occurrences of the word under or near the cursor. Specifically, pound searches backward through the file. If I hit pound in normal mode right here, it jumps to the nearest word, which is search but there are no other occurrences of that word in this file. So let's look at a more interesting example. If we navigate the cursor over to Word and hit Pound, it will jump up the file to the previous occurrence of Word. If we hit it again, it wraps back around to here and then back to where we started. The Pound symbol is used in a couple places to denote what is called the alternate file, which is generally the previously visited file in this window. For starters, Let's take a look at our buffers list, which lists all active buffers in this Vim session. And you'll notice right down here that there's a pound symbol next to the second buffer in the list. That is because the last buffer I visited was for the 06.md file. Knowing that, let's look at how we can use the alternate file concept as part of an X command. If we type out an edit command with pound and hit tab, it tab completes the file name for the alternate buffer. Hitting enter will jump there. If we pop open the buffers list again, we'll see that the alternate file is now 07, where we just were. So we can do the same thing to get back to there. You can read up a bit more about alternate files in the help files. Another use for the pound symbol in X commands is referencing buffers by their buffer number. If we pop open the buffers list one more time, we can see that each buffer has a number next to it. 180, 179, 1, 3, 6. So if I start an edit command with pound 6 and tab complete, I can go to buffer 6, which is 02.md. This last example is a bit obscure, but it's a preview of some more exciting text object navigation that we'll see in upcoming episodes. Here, we can jump around the edges of a C syntax specific construct, these if, else, and if keywords. With close bracket pound and open bracket pound, we can jump to the next and previous instance, which can come in handy for large, hard to navigate functions and files. Let's go down here and see how it works. Hitting close bracket pound, I'll jump to the next, and then the next, and then the next. Open bracket pound will take me back, so on and so forth. Though that is hyper specific to the C language, you can imagine how useful it'd be to jump back and forth between the open and closing curly brace or parenthesis in a lot of other languages. Like I said, we'll get to that. Well, that's it for this episode. Feel free to dip into the help files for other uses of pound. In our next episode, we'll look at the dollar sign symbol.